your head out of the sand this time. Or oh, put your head between your legs and kiss that ass goodbye. You are now being programmed by. Stay the room. Back up in this, ready to trigger these fairies quicker than a Mercury switch. You can go ahead and give those heels three clicks, but you ain't going back to Kansas, you little bitch. You no, know who it no, is. No, no, no. Yes, it is. Hey, they say for a quiet life, there's two things you should never talk about. Politics and religion. But screw what they say. Who are they anyway? You know who they are? Me neither. Whatever. Hey, producer. Producer. Do you vote? You do. That's good. At least you're trying to have your voice heard on like half of these people that sit on their asses and then complain as society drips down the drain around them. Do I vote? No, silly goose. You know I'm not a citizen. I do campaign, though. Spread a little bit of propaganda... Hack a few voting machines. You know, the usual. <laughs> I'm joking. Only reason I bring this up is because I was reading an article earlier that was going on about all the people that are running for president in 2020. You should see this cast of characters. I thought I was looking at a trailer for a Suicide Squad sequel or something. <laughs> Did these people just escape from Arkham Asylum? Where's Joker at? <laughs> Oh, there he is. Wait, there's about 20 of them up there. <laughs> Between race baiting all the way up to apocalyptic climate change fear mongering, they run the entire gamut. You have the white lady that swears she's a Native American, the Irish guy that thinks he's Spanish, the openly gay guy that claims to be a devout Christian, the Jamaican lady who claims to smoke weed whose father just came out and denounced her said she's a liar and rebuked her in front of the entire country. Bolshevik Bernie, creepy Uncle Joe, <laughs> it's just mind-boggling. On and on they ramble about some constitutional crisis. The fact that they're even allowed to run for office is what the damn constitutional crisis is. <laughs> My God. Just listen to this drivel dribbling out the mouth of some of these dimwits. It's ridiculous. Producer, play the clip. And along this current trajectory, there will be people who can no longer live in the cities that they call home today. Mm -hmm. There is food grown in this country that will no longer prosper in these soils. Why There's going to be massive migration of tens or hundreds of millions of people from countries that are literally uninhabitable or underwater oh. that are above the sea right now. This is our final chance. The hmm. scientists are absolutely unanimous on this that we have no more than 12 years to take incredibly bold action on this crisis. Oh, I'm scared. One policy that's turning heads. Yeah, universal basic income. Universal basic income. He calls it the freedom dividend. Now, if you've heard anything about me, you've heard that there's an Asian man running for president who wants to give everyone $1,000 a month. And all of those things are true. Sounds good to me, baby. So why are you rich and your client is working in CD strip clubs? Sir, do you have any idea how much money I've earned? You're on every cable show. You You're running no for idea. president now. You have no idea. Well, I know that you haven't paid your taxes. You not because you've got over a million dollars worth of the computer. Savage. I think there is a profound anger at corporate greed. Pharmaceutical yeah, companies right. make billions in profits, and one out of five Americans cannot afford the medicine they need. Insurance companies pay their CEOs outrageous levels of compensation. You got they 34 do. million people who have no health insurance. Many people cannot uh, afford their deductibles and their co payments when true. they go to the doctor. Fossil fuel industry makes billions of profits while they destroy uh, the planet. Wall Street <laughs> makes profits the and they're charging planet. people 17% interest rates on their credit cards. I think people see the rich getting much, much richer That's and the level of income and wealth <laughs> inequality increasingly dangerous uh, from a moral perspective and from an economic perspective. <laughs> This is a sad day. This process is a travesty. It's a travesty of a mockery of a sham of a mockery of a travesty of two mockeries of a sham. Just when you think they couldn't possibly <laughs> go any further over the edge. Oh, man, these people are insane. You heard it. You just heard it yourself. Anyway, yo, shout out to Mark Levin and everyone over there at Blaze TV. Yo, they do some amazing work. You should go check them out, definitely. Anyhow, yo, what do you think about this political circus sideshow? I'd like to know. Leave your comments down below. And while you're beneath, don't forget to like and 
subscribe b b b subscribe b b b b b till next time peace